in today's episode, we will set up Axis Companion Recorder. And Axis Companion Bullet Mini LE cameras. So, stay tuned. Hello and welcome to Poseidon Tech. Today we will build a surveillance solution using Axis Companion Recorder and Axis Companion IP cameras. Let's start with the unboxing of Axis Companion Recorder. Inside the box you will find the installation guide, the Axis Companion Recorder, and the DC power supply with its AC power cord. This is Axis Companion Recorder. At the front of the device you will find the control button with status and hard disk LED. At the back of the device there is one LAN port four PoE ports and one DC power socket. At the side, one USB port and at the bottom of the recorder you will find the reset button. This is the DC power supply and the AC power cord. In order to power on the recorder, connect the AC power cord with the DC power supply. Connect the DC power supply connector with the DC power socket of the recorder. At last, put the AC power cord to an outlet and the recorder is activated. Now, connect the patch cord to the LAN port of the recorder and to an Ethernet port of your switch. Before we continue, let's take a look at some specs. This Axis Companion Recorder is a compact network video recorder that supports up to four Axis Companion Line IP cameras. It includes a built-in switch with one LAN port and four PoE 802.3AF ports with total maximum output of 65 watts. The recorder comes with one terabyte surveillance grade hard disk and a wireless access point at 2.4 and 5 gigahertz band. At last, it also includes a USB port for easy export of video recordings. It's time to add some cameras. This is Axis Companion Bullet Mini LE for outdoor use. Let's unbox it. Inside the box you will find the Axis camera, and the installation manual. This is Axis Companion Bullet Mini LE camera. This bullet style camera has a compact and small design.
Axis Companion Bullet Mini LE is an auto-ready IP66 camera that supports H.265 compression with high video quality in HDTV 1080p and 2 megapixels resolution. It has built-in IR illumination up to 15 meters for surveillance in total darkness. With WDR technology, delivers high image quality even in scenes with complex light conditions. Features power over Ethernet that allows one cable to provide both network connectivity and electrical power. It has horizontal field of view 103 degrees and vertical field of view 55 degrees. It is optimized for reduced bandwidth and storage need. At last, Axis Companion Bullet Mini LE is supported only by Axis Companion Video Management Software and Mobile App and requires an Axis Companion Recorder. Now, let's open the case in order to connect the Ethernet cable. You will need a Torx 10 driver in order to remove the mounting bracket. This is the wall mounting bracket. This is the IP66 enclosure box that protects the Ethernet cable connection. To open the enclosure box, you will need again the Torx 10 driver. Now, remove the cover. Connect the RJ45 cable to the Ethernet port. Place carefully the cable between the enclosure box and the cover. Push the cover in order to close and secure the enclosure box with the Torx driver. Don't forget to put the cable through the mounting bracket hole. At last, secure the camera to the mounting bracket with the Torx driver. Connect the camera into a PoE port of the recorder. Connect the other cameras to Axis Companion Recorder. Go to Axis website in order to download Axis Companion software. Go to Learning and Support. Under Support, choose Software Download. Choose Axis Companion and press the download button. In order to proceed with the download, you will need first to create an Axis account. Choose Register New Account. Fill the form and press Submit. You will receive a verification mail. Click the link included to this mail. Enter a password for your account and some personal information. Press Continue. Accept Axis Terms and your account is ready. 
Now you can proceed with the download. Install Axis Camera Companion. Launch Axis Companion. Sign in with your Axis account. Press Grant. Press Get Started. Create a new site for your installation. You can have several sites under one account. Give a name and a password and press Next. Your Axis cameras will be discovered automatically. Choose your cameras, give a name and press Next. Press Finish. During this procedure, Axis cameras will be added and the latest firmware will be installed. That's it, your cameras are ready. Before we continue with Axis Companion settings, allow me to install the cameras to my customer's house. Now, the two bullet mini cams are in their final position. You can change camera by clicking its tab nail. The good thing about Axis Companion is that it's cloud-based. So, without any port forwarding, you will be able to have remote access to your cameras and your settings. All the views from the cameras in this tutorial are with remote access. By clicking the window button on the right corner of the screen, you can have a full screen split view. To exit split view, press escape. By clicking the photo button, you can take a snapshot. Let's go now to check the settings by clicking on the gear button. In this window you can add or remove a camera and also change the settings. Choose camera and press the three dots button. From camera properties you can change the name of the camera, you can see the model, serial number and firmware version. From video quality settings you can change the frame rate of high and low resolution and check also the bandwidth. It is recommended to enable Lux mobile streaming for improved playback performance. As you can see, bandwidth for high resolution is 2 megabits per second and for low resolution only 42 kilobits per second. From image settings you can adjust contrast, brightness, sharpness and white balance. You can also change the orientation of the camera image. From exposure, you can choose a predefined flicker control template. If you want to exclude one area from viewing, you can add a privacy mask. Just press Add New Button and move and resize the black box over the area that you want to exclude. Give a name to your mask and then you can easily enable or disable the mask. From storage, you can choose Axis Companion Recorder and change the maximum days of recordings. From Motion Recording, you can enable or disable Motion Recording. You can choose High or Low Resolution. Click Settings button. 
Here, you can set a box in order to define the area that motion detection will be enabled. So, for example, I want motion detection only around the house. By enabling exclude area, you can draw a box in an area that you believe that will trigger false motion detection. So now motion detection will ignore the movement of this palm tree. You can also choose if motion detection will be always on or according to a schedule. For a new schedule, press New. Give a name. Choose entire day or specific hours. For example, 9 to 6, Monday to Friday. For this installation, I want motion detection always on. From continuous recording menu, you can enable it or disable it. You can choose resolution high or low and if it will be always on or according to schedule. From time settings, you can adjust the time. I will leave Axis NTP server. At last, you can restart select camera. For example, if in parking camera we choose motion detection and continuous recording always on, then camera will record continuously at low resolution with 2 frames per second. And when motion will be detected, then will record at high resolution with 15 frames per second. In recorders menu, you will find your Axis Companion recorder. From site, you can edit admin password, you can enable operator access, and viewer access. You can also create a configuration sheet by clicking save. You may also export this site to a file. From remote access, you can enable or disable the remote access for any of your camera. From customize menu, you can enable auto start and split view. You can choose the paths for snapshots and recordings. You can change the format recording from AASF to MP4. Finally, let's check the playback function. Select camera. Select date. Then take the cursor to the desired hour. Select playback speed and press play button. You can zoom in and out with mouse wheel. By pressing investigation mode button from the lower right corner of the screen, you can move forward or backward by 1, 5, 15 or 30 frames.
By pressing the photo button you can take a snapshot. At last, in order to save a playback, press the Save Recordings button. Choose Starting Point and End Point. And click Save. When export ends, Axis Companion will create the recording file and the portable player. Double click the player in order to view your recording. That was Axis Companion software for Windows. Now, let's install the Axis Companion application to an iPhone. Go to App Store and download Axis Companion. Open the app. Sign in with your Access account. Allow access by selecting Grant. Choose your site. Give site password and press Login. Just press on the camera that you want to watch. By pressing HQ button, you can change the resolution from low to high. By pressing photo button, you can take a snapshot. Press the playback button in order to view the recordings of the camera. Press the calendar icon to choose date and time. Press play. In order to save this recording, choose Starting Point and End Point. And press the Download button. Finally, by pressing the Split View button, you can change the layout. Access Companion Recorder features a wireless access point. Wi-Fi settings are in the web interface of the recorder. First, we need to find the IP address of the recorder. In order to do that, we will use Access IP Utility from Access website. Access IP Utility will discover all Access products. Now that we have the IP address, open a web browser and write it in order to open the web interface. Log in with username root and the password site. By clicking the black and white icon, you can change the page to black. Here you can see information about disk, status, temperature, and you can perform check disk or reset disk. You can also see information about onboard switch such as the number of used ports and the total power consumption. At last you can enable or disable PoE for every port and check the power consumption to every connected device. Finally, go to Settings and Wi-Fi. You can enable or disable the Wi-Fi. You can change the SSID. Choose between 2.4 and 5 GHz band. Choose Channel. Enable or disable Wi-Fi password. 
and change the Wi-Fi password. Enable congestion control if you are in an area with many Wi-Fi networks to improve the wireless connection between the wireless device and the access point. This was Access Companion Surveillance Solution with the Access Companion Recorder and the Access Companion Bullet Mini LE cameras. Thank you so much for watching. If you like my tutorials, consider subscribing to my channel. See you in the next episode.